Welcome to this episode of YouTube. So I wanted to address uh, some comments I saw on explore.org chat area, and I wanted to address specifically Rika's relationship with the pups. And I think uh, people are seeing Rika trying to find her way with how to play and how to interact. Um, and there's some language that I want to kind of address. Um, it talks about Rika being attacked by the pups um, and, uh, you know, what's going on with that. And I think attack is, is definitely um, not the appropriate word. Certainly the pups are trying to figure out their role within the pack and they're uh, certainly being uh, uh, doing some virtualized dominance with each other. Uh, they clearly have dominance from the Arctic. So Axel and Grayson have been setting boundaries and setting limits, but Rika just hasn't been setting many limits. And so we saw early on in the introduction, she's playing with them like she's one of the pup mates. And uh, um, what causes uh, her to do that, again, might be because she was a singleton. You know, um, it might just be her personality. She tries to do a little bit of a chin rest there. Um, um, but really the pups are in a subordinate posture around the adults and including Rika. Um, this is not the first time that we've witnessed this kind of scenario um, where we're seeing uh, pups being a little rambunctious with some of the adults. The challenge is, is that Rika is only a one-year-old and she has not quite figured out how to hard discipline or how to use hard muzzle bites to be able to control the pups. And so Kaz especially gets a little bit overwhelming for her. And so you're seeing this here. Uh, we did have a circumstance where the wolf care were watching the other day and Axel came in and intervened. And it wasn't probably intervening on Rika's behalf as much as just stopping inappropriate pup behavior. So like I said, we've seen this before. This is Grizzer in 2009 when Denali and Aiden were brought in. Um, he was a very accommodating to the pups, rolling over for him, letting them climb on them. You know, certainly that was his personality trait was to be pretty easygoing. And uh, what can happen is as the pups mature, uh, that can be more problematic because there were no boundaries set. And so they will continue to test and test and test and push their limits. So for Rika's sake, she needs to learn the lesson that Grizzer learned, which was by October, you need to really start asserting yourself. Now the challenge for Grizzer, there were other wolves that were looking to take advantage of him. Um, Malik uh, especially was uh, particularly hard on Grizzer, trying to keep Grizzer kind of in that third ranking uh, male role, shadow the dominant male. But pay attention to the female there, that's Maya. And females will dominate uh, lower ranking males. Even though we say rank orders are typically gender specific, we mean kind of within the rank order, but once a dominant pair is established, a dominant male, dominant female, uh, they will cross dominate the roles. And as a matter of fact, Maya was much more intense on dominating than Shadow was. Shadow is over on the right in this picture. Malik, you can see his tail is just swinging. That's much more high intensity arousal. Uh, his hackles are up, whereas Shadow is pretty calm about this interaction. So. The dominant wolves um, oftentimes will watch, um, especially in the circumstance of the dominant male, uh, watch what's going on as the lower ranking wolves might do this ritualized dominance. It doesn't mean they hate each other, it doesn't mean that they're you know, uh, you know, know, gonna have an issue. And, and again, the attack is kind of a strong word. We call it ritualized dominance because it actually prevents a lot of more significant attacks. If everybody knows their place, everybody knows their order, um, it uh, relates to a calmer pack later on. So fast forward to today. And you see Grayson again taking that somewhat leadership role with the pups listen to that and they respond to that. We also um, had a little bit of a surprise visitor in the enclosure this week. We had a gray squirrel. Typically this exhibit since I started in 1989 has been red squirrels. Gray squirrels have been in Ely but they have not been here at, at the center. Um, this was captured on Tuesday and that is Blackstone chasing the gray squirrel. And look at Kaz's response, uh, intimidated. Uh, there's no doubt he doesn't know what's going on with wolves. The fight or flight response is pretty strong and it's typically the flight response. So uh, we are seeing them, like I said, as a social group and seeing them interacting together. Distractions are huge for us. And so we're uh, doing a lot of pre-planning on how to distract this pack as we come into the 
fall maturing of wolf pups and obviously the winter season. So thanks for watching and always feel free to let us know if you have questions. We'd be happy to try to interpret the dynamics of the pack. See you next time.